redemption for Ace Schoenrock. His chance at it is now. Due to a tragic knee injury, Ace missed his shot at basketball glory in high school. His life then spiraled down into 47 years of alcoholism. Finally clean and sober, Ace has been rewarded with a roster spot on Team Oogla Bleak. All thanks to his former high school sweetheart, whose son owns the team. Can Ace achieve intramural glory? Can he help Team Oogla Bleak get their sh** together? As Eminem said, you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. It's hard to forget those Friday nights from way back when. And I think uh, I would really like one more shot, just one more chance to get back at it and somehow hear it again, what happens when you make the shot and all the celebration and so on. He played back when the New York Knicks were like five Jewish guys running up and down the court. Oh, we knew Naismith. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he lived in our town. I heard you created a game and he stole it from you. <laughs> How about the two-handed set shot? Oh! That's just Mike Whitey Scoog. Whitey I know about Whitey Scoog. He invented the jump shot. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. How do you invent the jump shot? I don't know. It's like, That's I mine! <laughs> My street name is The Vulture. I see we got to face a team called Umbalumba or some damn thing. And all I say is The Vulture's going to swoop down. And just when you think the play is dead, take care of business. Thank you. I can't believe this team beat us. They have less hair <laughs> per capita than any team in the league. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you ever seen that Sesame Street when they're like one of these things is not like the other, a few of these things aren't kind of the same? Does that apply to this team at all that we're playing? It's like five, ma four managers of like a McDonald's and then Trent Tucker. I mean, the moment is now when if you don't speak the With seven minutes left in the first half and Team Unglablik trailing by two, Ace got in the game and quickly got his first shot. You know what we need? We need Danny to shoot more threes. <laughs> Actually, if he could step out a little more. <laughs> How do you think Ace is doing? I've seen him play a lot better, but it's been a few years since he's played, so. Do you think he's lost anything? <laughs> Honey, his mind, you mean? I don't know. Let's go, let's break it Age over. Age before beauty on three. One, two, three. Age, Age before beauty. I think are the best guys. We get tired. We need to come off. I better see a lot of goddamn hustle. I'm gonna kick somebody in the ass. One, two, three. They said I was wrong. So sorry for the momentary lapse of cool, but it's gonna come back to me. That's the rules. Actually, if I act fast, maybe adapt my action. Track shoes ready to move. Gut reaction. Had you ready to choose a new fashion? Take a nap, wake up, and jump right back. Oh yeah, baby. Don't jump it. What's left in the game? Yep. All right, so now it's it. Now we're Yep. Okay, Ace, this is your shot. All right, okay. this is it. There you go, Ross. It's up. It's up. Damn. Damn. That's it. Hey, we kept right. our heads, man. We kept our heads. That's great. We got to work hard the next 40 seconds, and what this did this didn't mean anything. All right? It's like it was not Focus on three. <laughs> Focus on three. One, two, three, four. Focus. Focus. I can't even rub my nipples without Coach being mad. I'm happy we're winning, okay? Ben, 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 ben
it's on the application. It's a tingling. Okay, hell yeah, burn the sensation. Don't foul. It's okay. Hey, 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 and for once, Team Unglublik seemed like a team. They had rallied around Ace, learning from him the possibility for redemption in all of us. You know, after all this, that game, look, look at who showed up at my game. This is, this is Judy, the one that helped me all those years that I didn't know it. Just think about it, she showed up. Hey, 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 Well, I thought I needed to make the shot, but you know, just being on the floor with the guys again uh, brought me back, and I think life's going to be good from here on. He, he, he wanted to show me how they blocked shots back in the old days without leaving their feet, and that, that was cool. I never tried that before. Uh, so I, I think I learned a lot from him. Well, that's worse than like getting the score run up on you, is having a 75-year-old guy block your shot. It's just it's demoralizing. But it was awesome because he was on our team. So, you know, I'm going to go home and hug my grandparents right after that. I'm taking my grandfather out to play today. Ace is inspiring for everybody 96 and up. I mean, the man was running like he was 22. I think 96 is the new 20. When you block a shot on this team, you got to look the man in the eye. You got to scream at the top of your lungs. Get that out of here! And uh, Peach Basket let us down. Until he gets that figured out, I don't think he can come back. We got standards. I mean, this is really about intramural glory now that I've seen Ace come out back on the court and play the way he did today. At the level and at his age, it's inspiring. I love old people. I'm going to a bank, I'm going to bingo tonight and I'm hugging every old person there. It's Ace. You are the hope of a nation. I'm too proud to talk right now. I gotta go. Well, you know what? Uh, it's not all about making the shot. Sometimes it's as simple as a block shot. And also, you know what, uh, it could be that the love of your life returns as well. So maybe that's what I learned. I talked about how intramural sports is a form of not dying, you know, defying death. And, and Ace really showed us that tonight. Uh, he is deathless. I mean, no matter how much money and power you have in life, if you're still playing when you're 80 years old, you've reached intramural glory. Would you play another game with these guys? I think I would, but you know, uh, the way I look at it now, by gosh, uh, I'm not going to come back until I'm 70 or so, because it, it's just, it was, in a lot of ways, it was a little easy for what I was doing, so I think I'll wait a while before I come back again. Oh!